Welcome to my YouTube video focusing on the element of art color. This is an intermediate lesson. You'll need paper and pencil, something to color with such as oil pastels, crayons, or colored pencils, and a black marker if you have one. Let's have some fun! Hi, this is Laura Houston, and today I'm going to do an art project with you that focuses on the element of art color. This is the intermediate level art project for color. So um, if, if you have um, crayons or colored pencils at home, I happen to have oil pastels, um, you can use anything, um, crayons are just fine. Um, if you don't have anything at home um, that's to use to color, it's perfectly fine if you just wanna watch and learn. So um, here we go, we're gonna do a landscape and it's going to be very um, simple. So I'm just gonna start with the, a hill that's gonna come down this way. And then I'm going to draw a water line here that's kind of like a horizon line. Remember the horizon line is where the sky meets the water. And up here, I'm going to draw a sun. And I think what I'm gonna do is draw some interesting um, cross lines, lines that cross here, because we're gonna be adding colors. We're gonna be focusing on warm and cool colors um, in this project. So I'm just gonna draw some lines here. I'll see, I'll make this one a little thicker. This is the main um, horizon line, and we'll have some other lines here. And then we'll do a few um, lines in the sky. Okay, that looks good. So um, what we're going to start with is this is a project that focuses on warm and cool colors. You'll remember that from the slideshow as well as complementary colors. And just to remind you, when complementary colors are together, they really pop. So this is going to be a very bright um, piece of art. So remember, purple and yellow are complementary colors. Blue and orange are complementary colors. And red and green are complementary colors. So why don't we start with um, the green hill. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna kinda do this um, quickly and you can you can color however you want to, but I'm going to just fill in these areas with different greens. And uh, it's okay if the same green overlaps. And you can do this however you want. Let me add, grab a different green here. But when you look at it from far away, when you see the finished product, it will look like um, you know a green hillside that's near um, some water. And I'm just kind of coloring quickly here. You might want to take your time and color like slower or use different greens. Let's see, maybe I'll mix a few greens here. Let's do this. You could even do this with paint. If you have watercolors or tempera paints at home, I'm going to mix a few of these. Okay. As you can see, we have our hillside forming here. Do that. Add some green. Okay, so you get the idea. Okay, and then um, I'm going to start filling in the water. And um, from the slideshow, you learned that uh, blues and purples and greens are all cool colors. So I'm going to mix these in. Let me draw another line here. Let's see. Maybe right here. So we can get a, more, a bigger variety of colors. It's okay to, to um, you know, edit your work or change once you start because sometimes once you start coloring, you realize there's something that you want to change. Put some blues in here. Add light blue. This is our ocean. You can even, you know, mix a little of both. Maybe I'll mix some blue here. But the lines definitely add some interest. Can't forget purple. I'm gonna add some purple in here because purple is also a cool color. Maybe I'll blend this right here. 
mix, nice mix there. Okay, so we have our ocean and our land. Now the sun, I'm going to use bright, bright yellow up here for the sun. We're gonna draw a setting sun. So our sky is not going to be a typical um, blue sky. We're gonna draw a California sunset here. So our sunset is going to have beautiful um, reds and oranges in it. So now the top part of our landscape is warm colors. So we have this, I'm gonna put some more. This is a, a like a almost a red orange, it's very beautiful. This is gonna be a very bright landscape. It's almost like a piece of stained glass the more I look at it. I love uh, creating art with bright colors. Maybe I'll mix a little bit of red and orange in this, this area right here. And I'll do some more red right here. We're almost done. Okay, add some orange here. Look how these colors just pop, especially on the white paper. And like I said, you can do this with colored pencils or with crayons or if you find some paint somewhere. And I think to I might add a little bit of yellow highlights here. Like maybe the sun is reflecting a little bit in here. But um, there we go. So what we've created is a simple landscape with warm colors and cool colors. And at the same time, we use complementary colors, which really makes it vibrant and pop. So I hope you um, enjoy doing something like this at home. Thank you. If you want to learn more, click on the link in the description below the video. As always, I'd love to see your art and I might feature it in one of my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.